where news that matters is explained by experts who know the subject. Personally, you know, for me, it was a big challenge because with the kind of an infrastructure that we have on our campuses, with the kind of diversity, you know, that we have on our campuses, students coming from such varied economic and social backgrounds, you know, suddenly to move to an online kind of an education was a nightmare. Neither has it been easy for the students, nor has it been easy for the faculty. And these are very difficult times and, uh, and we are coping with it. And uh, now we are better prepared. After three months now, we are much better prepared compared to March when we closed down to July now in four months time. I think uh, now next semester is going to be much better. We are also bringing back the students who have issues with online things. I think at least uh, we have done a survey. 4% of IIT Delhi students cannot take, take classes from their hometowns or, or places of stay. So now we are trying to bring back these 4% of students to the campus, make them stay in our hostels, even give them laptops where they require them. The online teaching is not just about, you know, teaching in front of a camera. The way you behave in a classroom, the way you behave in front of a, in front of a camera are, are very different. You know, if you make Tendulkar, you know, act, we know how how lousy Tendulkar is when he's in front of a camera. But you make him go to the field and make him play and you shoot him while he's in his, at his natural base, he will come across as the world's best batsman. That same is true with some of our teachers too. Some of our best teachers who are very good at connecting with students in the classroom, the way the moment they move to the online, you know, they just did not know where to start. And uh, so the training part also became very important for us. We are even looking at uh, recruiting faculty now at IIT Delhi to understand or to, to you know, help us with the, with the learning modules when you go online. In a classroom, I can give a one hour lecture you know, without any issues and we know how to do all of that. But in online, if I start lecturing one hour, you know, the, the screen time and uh, the people get bored very, very fast. And we even saw some you know, studies to say that 10 minutes is the maximum time you can hold a student's attention when you are online. After 10 minutes, your brain starts to think of so many other things and uh, you are getting messages and you are getting WhatsApp things and you know, nobody is able to focus beyond 10 minutes. So how do we now uh, you know, give a one hour lecture, which is uh, in a classroom in smaller modules when you are online? That is another big issue. And another biggest challenge I see is in our campuses or for that matter, any educational campus, a lot of peer learning happens. You learn by interacting with your, with your peers, with your other students who are taking that class. And that is mostly missing in the online uh, kind of a model. We have learned uh, things now, but the next semester, we are now much better prepared. And I hope uh, that you know, this learning that we have done, we will also be able to move to more hybrid forms of teaching. I think uh, you know, probably there is an opportunity in this crisis. But online, the advantage is you know, scale. The, you can scale up the online education much more effectively than the physical education in our classrooms. So there is a silver lining uh, in, in that aspect as well. I think it depends on, on which is, what is the curriculum. It depends on what is the nature of the instruction. It depends on the instructor himself or herself.